Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad. Extremists wake up. What are the results of extremism and extremist ideology? First, we see that these type of ideology and ideologues, first, it's a false ideology, which was, has in common its roots with the original sect in Islam called the Khawarij, who were considered by the Salaf or classicists as extreme, ignorant, and the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said about them, Hum kilab an that they are the dogs of the people of the hellfire. So a person who believes in blowing up things and wanton acts of violence, these are some of the characteristics that they share a common origin with a sect which is considered a, a sinful, deviant group. Extremist actions and ideology, also they tarnish the Muslim community and Islam. Look at the results of their actions. Look at the results of their spreading their false ideology. They tarnish and they harm other Muslims in the community. And they also further feed the stereotypes that people have and that the media propagates regarding Islam. That Islam is a terrorist religion. So these actions only verify for those people who are ignorant and are fooled by those things. And they only serve to bring about further animosity. You claim to want paradise. So extremists, they claim they want paradise and that they are coming closer to Allah by blowing themselves up, by suicide missions, and wanton acts of violence. But this only serves to further make the individual further from Allah and further from the authentic, uh, the authentic Islamic way, which is the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and the classical scholars, the Salaf al -Sali. And the end result of people who try to do acts of violence or perpetrate acts of violence in the name of Islam or in the name of any faith, for one, when their plans succeed, what do you produce? Or when your, your plans succeed, what do you produce? In your eyes, you believe you are successful. And what is the end result? You have orphans. You produce widows. You produce a widespread loss of life and property. And hatred and animosity from Muslims and both non-Muslim communities alike. When your plans are foiled, you go to jail. And your families and your friends, they feel the pain and they're the ones who suffer. And if you are the provider for your family, your family are the, in re, the, the recipients of those people of, of, of hatred and animosity from others, and they are in need of being taken care of, and you're not in a position to do so behind bars. And I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect our communities and bless the Muslim community to go forward and begin to return to the religion by returning to the classical understanding of, based upon the Qur'an and the sunnah of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And may Allah guide us all to the truth. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad.